So we had another, basically last week we played a game where Peter had films that were real that were coming out and films that he had made up that are not actually coming out. So okay. we figured what we would do is we would do a similar thing. Some of these are probably going to be pretty obvious, but some of them might not be. And yeah. uh, so whatever we tell you can be real, can be fake. Now, this one I think we talked about actually maybe last week uh, with Peter. But so there is uh, a film called Justice League War World where basically there is the Justice League and they are trapped in a world where they are constantly at war. And they must uh, be unite and become the Justice League because they are not a unit prior to that to that meeting. Do you think this film is real or do you think this film is fake? Um, I'm going to say it's fake simply because saying War World okay. is the most difficult thing I've done in my entire life. <laughs> okay, that's entirely <laughs> I'm fair. not convinced you could convince a marketing team to sell that. Okay, okay, Peter, what do you say? Um... I'm pretty sure five minutes before the podcast, I saw this trailer on your channel, so I'm going to say it's real. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it is real. This is a film okay. that is going to be coming out. It is an animated Justice League film. And Wait, I, I saw that yeah. on your channel. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> See, some of these you'll know because I constantly post about these things. But some of these, now we're getting into, getting into the ones that are going to be coming out in like 2025 and beyond. So Great. the next one is, is we're going to get harder, all right? There's a film called Businessman. It's a psychological thriller about a business magnate who slowly goes crazy underneath his media empire, and it is manned by Brian Cranston. Real or fake? That sounds good. <laughs> I'd um, buy into that. I'm going to say... I'm going to say fake. Okay, is there a reason? No. Okay, <laughs> Peter, what do you say? Peter, what do you say? Oh, this, game is, this game is getting real exciting. Um, <laughs> I think it's real. Okay, so this is indeed fake. This is something that me and Jason came up with that we really would like to see, but sadly it is not coming out. Wait, are we tallying up the points here? I want to know if I win or not. Oh, okay, well, hold on. I can keep up points. So basically... <laughs> so it's 1-1 uh, one, one right now. It's just 1-1, one, one, so okay. we'll do one Tim. The winner one. gets uh, Wisconsin IPA sent to them. <laughs> Base. <laughs> one can. It would cost us like so much a, more um, to send it to Peter. Yeah. <laughs> it would probably I actually, had my, first, the I actually had my first beer the other week. It wasn't bad. Nice. Oh, nice. good for you. You're becoming a man. What, type, uh, <laughs> what, what was uh, the brand? Uh... Uh, I don't know. It was like it was like a custom Typical. brew by a place here. It was like an apple cidery beer thing. Typical, oh, typical okay. fake drinker beer was it drinker spiked? person. Yes, it was definitely spiked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so real quick, I uh, playing a game show against bloody Ebola, like just full <laughs> screen on my computer. It's the first time for everything. Yeah. Okay, so there is a Minecraft movie that has Pedro Pascal voicing it coming out in 2025. Real or fake? Um, okay. Uh, I, paid, I think, obviously this is a real film, but paid, I don't think I've seen Pedro attached to this. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna... It, uh, I'll, I, I'll drop you a line here. It's, it's Jason it's Momoa, like... not Pedro Pascal. So therefore, it would be fake on the account that it's not Pedro Pascal. So you guys are both going with but, fake then? What was the... Um, did, did you say, like, Pedro... Is playing anyone or just uh, he's just voicing Pedro Pascal is voicing I didn't I, name any other actors only name I've seen attached is Jason Momoa okay mm, I think it might be real I are, mean are you gonna like, go with real I think you, I, real. you could like, well Pedro if Pascal's you go with not. real and you're right you could get one point <laughs> above Tim but then again you could you know end, end up lower than Tim if you get wrong so it's up to you Peter what are you what are you going with real or fake uh, I think I think it's real I think it's real. Okay, we, okay. It is real. Pedro Pascal is voicing. I saw what? today. And yes, Jason he Momoa. is. It is also it, Jason, also Momoa, Jason Momoa, Momoa and that. Pedro Pascal. I saw the only one that I saw was Pedro listed, so that's the one that I named. I did not know that Jason Momoa was even on it. Uh, but yes, that's coming out in 2025. So that's one up for Peter. Good on you, Peter. Who is he attached as? 
I, it didn't say. I literally had like it, I mean, there's no a real lot of these have no. Minecraft, so I literally so, went with yeah. films coming out in 2025 and beyond, and so most of them have like one person attached to them, and like right. uh, just the year and not even the date. Um, <clears throat> the next one is the claw. IMDb has. Oh, sorry. sorry go ahead. Not to derail too much. IMDb has him listed as Steve, which that, that can't <laughs> be true. Great. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Well, that's the funny thing is they've been trying to make a Minecraft movie since like 2014, and first yeah, just... attached to play Steve was yeah. Steve Carell. No way. That would have been. Fantastic. And that movie would make more sense than Jason Momoa. That right? would make way more right. sense. Yeah, that would be great. For, for like, <clears throat> his name is Steve. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Apparently, yep. apparently he is Steve, and then Jason Momoa is an unnamed character. That's what he's gonna be. Uh, he, his name's Brian. gonna be Jason. No, he's gonna be <laughs> oh my god, he could totally be Hera Brian. That'd, That'd be, be awesome. late. Okay. okay. Oh wait, no. But, Brian, uh, Brian Cranston is playing the Ender Dragon, which is weird because canonically, Ender Dragon is a female. I did know that. That is true. No, you do know Holy that, shit. and you are a nerd. Uh, all right. Crazy. Like, Jason Momoa might be like a creeper that talks or some shit. Dude, like, that would be ooh. lit. That would be oh, awesome. can, he's gonna play the creeper from the old uh, uh, eighteen plus uh, Minecraft parody back on YouTube in the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hilarious! Remember that video? No, I I I, I don't. I, I remember like... building a whorehouse in Minecraft. Okay, okay. <laughs> listen, listen. That sounds I mean, I just remember you know, beating the shit house. out of. Yeah, we Tim had a dungeon times. in the basement. We built the okay, dungeon. Let's it was move on. Idea. So there was a uh, there's a movie <laughs> called The Claw. It's a horror movie where a stuffed animal comes to life inside a claw machine and has to fight to survive the ever ending, unending, uh, you know, f strikes of the claw. Fake of real. <clears throat> Mm. That's not a fake. A fake. There's no way anyone <laughs> is talented enough to make a movie over 90 minutes about that. Okay, that is uh, that is fake. So that was a, 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 the thing I'll, that we I are gonna make. Do the next one. Wait, wait. wait you can do the next one. Uh, let's see. Here. So we were at. Uh, we well, were I'll at do the, the one claw. after that one. Cause so the, do uh, the, uh, yeah, go for it. You can okay. do the okay. So, so there's a movie uh, that's kind of like a, a biopic type of movie. It's called Never Tell Me the Odds. And the whole movie is... Just oh, wait, no, we said one. We said one. Oh. That, that, well, you, uh, do you, that's okay. You can do the Never Tell Me the Odds. Okay, so there's this movie called Never Tell Me the Odds. Essentially, it's about uh, the George Lucas and Disney deal, but also incorporated is uh, the backstory on how Star Wars was made. I mean, it goes, like, hardcore into, like, how Harrison Ford and George Lucas did coke with Carrie Fisher in the back and all that type. I mean, it gets really, like, kind of like intense in that so they show that in the trailer so this is kind of like the synopsis for like the movie um but yeah uh so the movie's called never tell me the odds is it real or fake it's obviously real. Wow. i'm a serial <laughs> i want it to be real but <laughs> i think it's um... fake I want to say I saw something with that title recently, and I didn't know what it was. <clears throat> um, um, can I um? <clears throat> you can ask a question. Yeah, go ahead. Can, can, I, phone a, can ask... I phone a friend? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Phone a friend, please. Please phone a friend. Is he gonna call you? Yeah. Yeah. Of course he is. <laughs> He's so oh, fucking predictable. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hey, Jason. Do you know the answer? I I do. I do know the answer. So, um, this uh, this is... Uh, I lost... I, I don't know what happened. I lost oh, connection. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's oh. crazy. You yeah, have I to, guess time ran out. It's like you have I to answer time, yourself, yeah. Tim. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to go with real. Okay, it's fake. It's a passion so project of mine that I want to make. Peter gets a three, <laughs> and basically, what Jason is going to do is he's going to turn it into a uh, uh, what? Did, what was? Who's the guy? What? Oh, oh the parody type movie. So I wanted to have it like there's this movie called Pinball, um, but also there's a Weird Al movie yeah, with the Weird Daniel Al Radcliffe. Movie. And mix those two type of films together Make and a weird create Star like, Wars movie. And, yeah, and really pay like really show like the drug usage on the Star Wars set. Like, going yeah, you're to not gonna get sued at all for that. No, no, I didn't. You I would never get sued it. for that. <laughs> but Why I would really I want this real? to be made, dude. Okay, by the way, so I mean, you get bought by Disney, it'll be cheap because they'll just use the CG. 
uh, Carrie Fisher and Harrison Ford. No, exactly true. Yeah. So, um, how to train your dragon? Live action, real or fake? Real. Peter. No, no other thoughts on that. Just, just real. <laughs> Dude, you're, he's I, well, really confident. I, I, really I haven't, confident. I haven't done well. I think I'm overthinking it. I just have to say what comes to mind first. I'm gonna go uh, real. Okay. But yeah. Um. We we cover like so much of the same stuff. Unfortunately, I know this one's real. Oh no! I think we okay. talked about this one last week. Okay. Well, you know what? Just to give Tim a fighting chance, I would give him an extra point here. Okay, we're gonna make it two to three. <laughs> We're going to give him a little bit of a, just a fighting so, chance. Uh, Here, let's go to the next one. So the next one is uh, this one. Uh, uh, right there is. Okay. Uh, oh, so there is uh, this uh, skee-ball movie um, that's coming out. It's basically about the making of, like, the skee-ball game. Um, that, you know, you, like, see a Chuck E. Cheese and that stuff. But it is starring Daniel Ratcliffe. And it's, uh, yeah, kind of like a, another like a like, comedy. biopic comedy yeah, I, type of movie. Yep. Um, real or fake? Um, I might be too un-American. What is skee-ball? Oh, so I basically, if you go to like an arcade, there will be these like um, usually like this usually long like wooden thing, balls. like like it's like a bowling ball, but there are it's these like little the size small of a things, ball. and then there will be these like holes, and it says like a hundred points for this hole, three hundred points for this uh, hole, and you have to try to like uh, throw it to get in the hole. It's like some people call it skee ball. I don't know what else it's called, but I'm sure there's other terms for it. But so it's basically like ball. exactly. So it's basically like there was that pinball movie. But it, but this one is it's about ski ball and it's more of like a, a comedy biopic with Daniel Radcliffe, real or fake? Hmm. I think it must be fake because I feel like the game's even fake. Like, what is this? <laughs> no, the game's real though. No, 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 no. the game is real. I can assure you, the game is one hundred percent real. You made up this this. Fake American game. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this no, dude. Gas I can really send you the pictures. I swear to God, this is a real oh, game. I don't know if you have oh, Chuck E. Cheese's in Australia, oh, but like they're it's like, at, it's like bowling. Yeah, this is like bowling. It's like bowling for chil like uh, children at an arcade. It's just bowling. Bowl too. Also, if I remember correctly. We Three, once eight, nine when we went up to Pollock Pines, we went bowling and we yeah, had we the did. the bumpers up so we couldn't go into the gutter, right? Yeah, because I think that's, like, that's too children's high. Children's bowling. Let's be honest here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, let me. Okay. Um, there we go. So this is a ski ball say... machine. This is a real thing that we have in America. I don't know. You guys must not have it. <laughs> this is a ski ball machine. Like this is a real thing. We are not fucking with you. I swear. We're to not God. proud of this. <laughs> Dude, that's $9, hilarious. Thousand dollars for this machine. Dude, that machine that that we said a picture of, yeah, it costs nine grand. That's like an American. Like we have those like they have light up ones. Look at those light up basketball up. machines. Look at too. the light up ski ball. Yeah, yeah we have basketball cool. machines too, but that's great. Okay, I didn't know oh, that. Yeah, that was we invented sports here. Yeah, in America. that's true. Yeah. We did that. Oh, wow, well, Canada this invented the, the NFL. Of, like, I get the basketball one, but it's like bowling. It's kind of like bowling, but like. Yeah, it's kind of like bowling, except like you just try to aim it. Like you, if you, obviously the, the goal it is to get it into the children, center I one. Think. I think they made that, it um, for children. What's that Canadian thing, right? Where you have the like shuffleboard, throw the ball, and then, yeah, it looks kind of like that. Yeah, okay. yeah, it looks a little like shuffleboard. No, no, I agree. Yeah, the whole idea is literally just that. Like, if you get to a certain, uh, like, get a certain one, you get more tickets. That's or all. yeah, what I would do, oh. and I'm sure other kids like Rocky would do, would they? You basically you go walk up, to up the, and, and you, you just, just put it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You just cheat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I did that all the time. And then yeah, the okay. Chuck E. Cheese employee comes by and scolds <laughs> you, and you just like you can't do yourself. Yeah, yeah. Then you get banned from Chuck E. Cheese. Anyway, <laughs> is this a real or fake, guys? We need a real or fake. I'm gonna say fake. I'm gonna say fake. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't. I. There, there's not enough people can know about this to like be a real <laughs> film. Like it must be fake. Okay, it is fake. It is fake. It is fake. Okay. God. Now okay. we have there, here's the next one I, in a similar vein. Oh yeah, go ahead, Peter. I don't even know if you guys um still have classic. Uh, or if you've even been to arcades. The arcades here are so shit now. I went to, saw one the other day oh, and they have like yeah. Flappy Bird and like, like yeah. where are the classic games really? man? No, I know. Yeah, when yeah, I was Yeah, they have like Fruit Ninja they Machine. They have like mobile games. games. It's like, yeah. what the yeah. fuck? Well, Makes me want to go to Japan. So the apps anymore are now just 
arcade game. Well, I remember game when machine. Ninja, like yeah. the Ninja game, what was it? Fruit Ninja actually like Fruit was Ninja. an arcade game. Like I, I saw that as an arcade game before I saw it as like a fucking mm -hmm. mobile game. Actually, well, I always I wanted to get Galaga into... is an arcade game with like like the full like, yeah Pac Man thing with, like, and Space yeah. Invaders and all that. Yeah. yeah, but I yeah. always wanted to go to Japan uh, and then the arcades that had the DDR set up because they take that shit seriously. I'm mm -hmm. not they really do. Yeah, it's it's crazy watching these people just oh, move yeah. their feet that fast. Okay, so 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 got it. next one, just so we can get through this. And the, we have another one in a similar vein, vein called Duck Pen. It is about the creation of bowling, and Paul Dano plays the main man who made bowling. Was it real or fake? What's it called? It is uh, called Duck, Duck Pen. Because that's the name that's of the company. That's what they actually call the pins. And I guess I mean, that's what they, they call the pins. They call them short, duck pins. They, call, they just call them But pins. yeah, the, yeah. the company name was Duck Pin. And so they call it Duck Pin. Uh, um, Similar to the Blackberry film that was made recently. Called are, Blackberry. Which was good, except um, for it was, the director was terrible. Yeah. Are, uh, I, don't, I, I don't know. Peter, what are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> you just want to copy my answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, okay, I'll, I'll go I'll first then. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, are we allowed to swear on this program? Yes, you are. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Who fucking okay. Uh, <laughs> beast. Big you, beast. Uh, you guys are full of shit. This is fake. Okay, all, all right. right. Peter, what are you <laughs> okay. going to say? Jesus, you have I to be so harsh. Sounds, um, I think it sounds real. Um with the details i'm thinking maybe like it's not paul dano or something because i don't know if he would fit okay but i'm gonna say real because i feel like there is a film like this coming out okay so it is fake well we got it so we are now down to a tie so yeah. now we have two more okay oh now uh, uh, now technically one is a bonus round we'll do both of them for the fuck of it but okay. uh, so okay. the first one Wait, how is how do we set the tiebreaker well, so we have uh, this. Well, we have this we'll next one, and then if and fine. then yeah, mm -hmm. if you if, if you get a tie on the next one, then I guess it's just there is both of you win, and then we both have to send you oh, a singular IPA. <laughs> no, we can we'll, oh, we'll okay. have we both send you. Yeah, you just both get an IPA. So All here's right. the first one: the Smurfs musical is coming out in 2025 with Rihanna set to a voice movie? a character. Yes, the Smurfs musical movie with Rihanna. Is set to come out in 2025. Is this true or false? Because uh, you remember how great that other uh, Smurfs movie was. Yeah, it was so good. It, it had my boy in it. <laughs> Wait, who was the the villain dude? Was it Jason Lee? Gargamel. Yeah, well, Gar Gargamel is based, even though he's a Jewish. Character. I can't sure. I really feel you know. Oh, you... that's he is. I just thought of it. You didn't realize that? <laughs> well, I'm glad. It. Thank you for we awakening. Wait, that. what are the Smurfs? Uh, we don't want to talk about it. Okay. Anyway, German. <laughs> this is a family friendly dude, podcast. Like, We're looking for sponsors. The, the amount of um, <laughs> apologies, but shit, film <laughs> that got True. previewed at Spider Verse, like. I don't know why I went to some like kids screening, but like, there's so many bad animated films coming out. I didn't realize there was a Trolls two. There's like a Trolls three coming out now. Yeah. Like, yeah, there's a lot I of think Trolls. The Puss in Boots depressing. movie was really the good. The Puss in Boots movie was top I tier. I love that yeah, movie. It's true. So it's part of us, yeah. But depressingly, yeah. I think it must be true. Okay. Just and then what do you think, uh, Tim? Oh, man, that's tough because like. <clears throat> that's absolutely something Sony would do. Okay. Like, get after a musical artist. Uh, Even after Spider Verse, yeah, no, like they're the emoji movie, yeah. and you know what I mean. I'm How gonna... did these fuckers go from the emoji movie too? Dude, that's what I'm saying, right? Movie. That's what I have to keep reminding okay. Jason. These are the people that put out the emoji movie. I'm gonna and say, say a... obvious. Yeah. Also, Sorry. emoji movie was the was the quickest made animated movie of also, all time. Also, pixels, from the pixels. Time that it was greenlit to making it. Yeah, it also like that Pixels movie months. with Adam Sandler. We got to remember how bad that I'm was. I'm so too. sad that they never made the sequel about the memes. That would have yeah, been fire. Facts. Okay, so what do you think? I'm going to say it's fake. Okay, <clears throat> Peter, you have won today's round of <laughs> no. true versus fake yeah. because that is a real thing. It doesn't there feel is like a, 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 a Smurfs. <laughs> 
f- musical that is coming out three hundred. Now we're gonna do the bonus round for the fuck of it because Tim, you could technically just I tie it back up and then. The I mean, movie. theoretically, he could tie it back up with this one. Let's say, okay, and then so and then we both you both get an IPA. Everybody's a winner, but let's find out. So the <laughs> bonus round here is that there is a Tinkerbell movie, live action. Reese Witherspoon, twenty twenty five, is the main character. True or false? Reese Witherspoon. Yep. I thought no, she died. Isn't she's she like, dead? No, no she's no, like no. fifty something now. Yeah. Um, that would be <laughs> funny if she's just dead, and that's why it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. It's still um, coming out. Oh, geez, I can see her. <laughs> it is a Disney movie, after all. Yeah, yeah they, they got the rights to their likeness. Exactly. Fine. Um. Ah. Uh, the amount of people that are going to love a live action think of it. Like, the people in the theater, it's going to be like Fifty Shades of Grey all over again. I like the girl True. who played the Tinkerbell oh in, uh, a Tinkerbell <laughs> in the, Peter, uh, the Pan movie, or the recent yeah. one. When, when, when I worked at Spirit oh, Halloween, one of my managers worked at the AMC theater near my house, and he was like, during the screening, the time where um, Fifty Shades of Grey was in theaters, we kept mm-hmm. finding, like, phallic objects underneath the seats after the, uh, the theaters yeah. would empty out. What did you think which would is so happen? Because it is the tamest rated R film ever. Um, pretty tame. Okay, so is it real or false? What are we saying, guys? Is that a reason to say think about? I'm gonna say false because she's okay. old and okay. they like young talent. Dude, oh, Jesus, no. Peter, what do you say? Peter, what um, are you gonna say? I am going to say that I'm like 99 percent sure this is real, and that we might have talked about it. So I'm gonna say false, and I think maybe you should. No, it is true. You could have gotten a double up Damn. on them, Peter. You were so close.